Hello everyone, this is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State University and this is the Information Design Data Visualization class. It's Tuesday, September 8, 2020 and we're going to do a couple of things on Tableau. Okay, so we're starting out with the data set that um, for the removals and the, 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 um, the uh, returns for the uh, deportation data set. So full disclosure right away, I'm not a Tableau guru, so I will, I will try to um, show a few key things and hopefully they'll be useful. Um, so how did we get this data set? So we click here, um, which is at the top here, and that's the little icon. So if we click on that, you can get a data set and you can find either a Microsoft Excel or a text file. In this case, I did a text file, um, which can be, um, even though it says here Excel, because it says CSV, I'm gonna select that one, um, okay? And I actually now I'm not gonna select it, but um, I'm gonna cancel it because I already, I already have it. Let's see if I if I go back here. So, uh, so what we did, we brought the data set in, and that's the data source, right? And so we're just going to try to do a couple of things. We're going to try to make a line chart and a bar chart, and for that, um, let's see, we're going to do a new a new worksheet down here. Okay, down here at the bottom, if you just press that one, uh, it's a new worksheet. And uh, when, when we imported the data set, you see that the years, we had years and then we had the removals and returns and the years show up here, right? And the, uh, and the removals show up here and returns. And they're called dimensions and measures, but we could also call them categories and uh, variables. So to me, it's a little bit confusing, but typically, so these are more like things, although they can also be numbers, uh, things in like categories, maybe qualitative, and these are more your data sets. So in order to get a simple graph, we could try, we could try these, we could try bringing, let's just say the years into a column field up there, okay? And let's try to put the removals up here. And that gives us a line, which could work, actually it would work in our example because it's, it's longitudinal data over the years. But if we wanted to do uh, bars instead, we could do a couple of things. Um, we could make the year data, if you do a right click, um, it says here convert to discrete. And that means that right now it's continuous. So if we say convert to discrete, let's see, yeah, nothing happened, but we can change also the mark type right here. And that should give us, let's see, an option for bar, and we get the bar. And if we change again to convert to met, um, met, sorry, to convert to continuous, nothing happens again. Okay, so that doesn't, let's just leave it discrete. Um, so by the way, if we change to, from continuous to discrete, it changes to green, from green to, um, to blue and from one to the other. And you can see that when it's blue, there's also this little mark. It's really hard to see unless you over, over the name here. Um, so green is continuous and blue is discrete. And discrete just means everything is broken down into, discrete, into single units. Um, Whereas continuous, you might have data that's in between those points and, and more and more and more. Okay, 
the other thing you can change in a year, I mean, in a dimension, well, in everything really, is you can change the data type. So instead of being, in this case, a whole number, it could be a date, but for a number is just fine for now, or it could be even a string, which would change it to straight text. Um, okay, now what we want, we want a double bar, right? So we're gonna also grab returns. We're gonna put it there. And what we get is we get two sets of bars, but we wanted them next to each other, right? Um, so one option may be here under show me up here. If you click that, it's gonna give you different options. Now the double bar is not shown. It says one or more dimensions and one or more measure. Um, let's see, um, so nothing there. Uh, in order to get these two sets to be on the same set, we could have done a couple of things. We could have done this, we could have taken the other information, the other measure, and when we bring it over, actually let me, let me close this. When we bring these over, you'll see it creates a box, and like we saw in the other video, but if you go here, it creates a dotted line, and it puts them on the same axis. So we could have done that also by putting the returns here and then telling it to say dual axis. Okay, so again, right click. Um, dual axis. So that will put them on the same axis. Uh, immediately what we need to do here is synchronize the axis, synchronize the axis because right now the scales are filling in the, regardless of what the minimum and the maximum is. So here we're going to say synchronize axis. Okay. And because now the axis is the same on the left and the right, um, we're gonna actually uh, remove this. Let's see. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say don't show the header. Okay, so now that's gone. Um, okay, well, this is was already in the previous video, so I think quickly what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change the width of that, um, which was under um, format, perhaps. Nope. Oh yes, size. So actually simply selecting one of these elements and then going to size here in the uh, in the marks panel, I can change that width of that bar. Okay, like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna now skip to um, something else, actually to a filter. So if, um, uh, let's see. we can drag anything into this area called filters right here. So let's see if we can try to filter out perhaps to do it. Okay. By changing it to discrete, it brings up this, this this filter really, and what we can do is just select the years that we want. And I forget now what they were. I think they were 2000, 2008, uh, I guess 2016, maybe 2018. And that just highlights the years that we want. So we might, you know, in case we want to use a filter. We're going to now do a scatter plot. And for that, I'm going to use um, another data set, which is the one that we're going to use for the next, uh, for the next 
project, which is the um, disparity in breast cancer race, ra um, rates between uh, black and white. Um, so I'm going to, um, yeah, so you would call again the, uh, the data set using that little symbol there, but I've already gotten it here. It's called BRAC-CAN, and I think it's also comma separated value. And um, let's see, we're gonna do a new, new spreadsheet, I mean, sorry, a new worksheet. Right there. And now with the scatter plot, um, which again we're going to be doing in the next project. Um, and if you saw my introduction, it's a really nice way to visualize relationships. So what I'm going to start with, let's see what I had here, um, I believe. So white and black, and we're going to use incidence and mortality for both white and black for this range of years, which is from 10. 14 for the incidence and 11, I believe 16 or 15 for mortality. Um, okay, so let's grab, we're gonna try first for uh, white. So we're gonna take white incidence and I'm gonna put it here. I'm just gonna try something Oh, actually, before I do that, we have states, and notice that for states, there is a little um, a little icon there, and that tells you it's already know it already knows that the geograph that it's already geographic data, so that you could you could change it, but in this case, we're going to leave it because here geographic role because it's nice. It's already it already knows that it's a state. Okay, it could be something else, right? You could change it to none too, but for now this is useful because you could in theory just do that, bring it in, and it would immediately recognize that it's a state and it would create a map, okay? We're not gonna do that now, but, um, but it's quite useful, right? But, um, okay, and then we can try to do one where we combine those two things, so. Oops, let's see a blank one. I forget which one is it. Okay. Um, so if you look at the data source for, uh, da, 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 let's see, Hispanic, if we shift back and forth, you can see how. Um, black mortality is much higher. Right, so the scale is the same from 18 to 30. And I'm not sure if the average is correct. So let's just make sure that that average line edit. So we're gonna, we're gonna edit the reference line because it looks too high, but it might be okay still. Edit the reference line and no, it's correct, okay. It is black mortality, the average, okay. Um, but they don't look like there should be 34 states for some reason, I'm not getting. Uh, Some reason, let's see, black mortality looks like, so if I bring that to filters, all values. Okay, no, they're not appearing. Yeah, right here, we have lots of columns, okay. And um, yeah, here we go. So it's okay, because we're just gonna use a few things. So we're, mainly what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the states, we're gonna use the um, NH just means non, the clay right. A little tricky. Uh, no, something is wrong here. Yeah, my, my syntax is, is wrong. I've got too much stuff, oops. 
That should work. Yeah. That did it. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Now they're both green. Okay. So that's now the second NFE. So Tableau has built in information about uh, geographic data. Um, so let's try to build this scatter plot. So I'm going to take uh, the black, uh, sorry, white incidents. And I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to take white mortality here. I'm going to put it there. Okay. And I do get a scatter plot. Now, it's just one dot. So what we need to add, even though we have the scale for the minimum and the maximum, which I think is summing them all up, that's why the numbers are so high, what we need is still the state. So we can grab the state up here for each one. If we bring it there, we get a nice color plot. Um, it's all in the corner because it's starting at zero, right? So what we need to do now, what we should do is look, look what the, uh, Look what the information is of the data. How many how many cases, right? So the um, let's see. Let's change first the horizontal scale, which is incidence. It's 110. That's the minimum, and the maximum is moving from left to right, 143. So what we could do we could change that um, here. We do a right click, and we say. Um, edit access and instead of being automatic okay we're gonna do fixed and I forget now what it was I think it was a hundred let's start at a hundred and here let's round this off to maybe a hundred and sixty okay so now it's a little more balanced we're gonna do the same for the um, for this scale, because everything again is bunched up up here. So let's do the vertical axis, edit axis, which is the mortality. And but let's take a quick look and see what it really is. Let's see, it starts at a little bit above 18. So let's change that to um, edit axis fixed. I'm gonna start at 18 and we're gonna end at maybe 20. Let's do 30. Um, oops, something happened the data disappeared because because i think i did something wrong with the numbers oh I, the the start is bigger than the end that doesn't work well it's probably better um, Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave the scale as is because I know eventually that, you know, the, the black mortality is much higher. So I'm going to need that room. Um, and what else can we add? We can change, we can add labels. So for that, we would grab the label here and rather we grab the state name and we bring it, we bring it into the labels and it's going to add the label and then we can change the size of the label so that we can fit more states than it's actually shown um, uh, i'm going to do one more thing which is i'm going to add let's see i want to add a, a line here that tells me the average so under white mortality See if I can do it. Um, uh, sorry, actually it's under the axis. So under here, under the axis, we're gonna say add reference line. Okay, and this could be a lot of different things, but um, we're gonna take that value and we're just gonna take the average. Okay, so this is gonna add a line that's going to look pretty much like that. And this is now showing all the states that are above the average and all the states that are below the average. And we could do that for these other axes too, but I think it's easier if we just keep one, one reference line just for mortality, because really that's the most important thing. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Here's a quick way now to do a graph for, um, we could do another sheet. Uh, actually, let's do that. Well, we could do another sheet and we could do the same thing now for black. Okay, so I'm going to take black incidence, put it there. Uh, black mortality, put it there. Bring in the states and add the labels. Uh, maybe make them a little smaller. The trouble now is I have to deal with the, with the axis again, right? And I have to kind of do that job again. But here's a quicker way. If I duplicate this sheet, which is the white uh, incidence and mortality. Um, and by the way, each one of these is a state, right? So we're going to talk about like, okay, which state is better than other states. Um, but here's a quick way to duplicate this, to do the one for black without having to redo everything. So we're going to duplicate the sheet right here. Isn't exactly. So let's try that again. So if I duplicate this sheet and now I change this to white, edit in shelf and I put white here, I mean black rather. Uh, somehow it doesn't type right, so I'm gonna do it by hand. Um, and then here, edit in shelf. And again, it's up here. I'm gonna type black. And again, it doesn't quite type correctly, so we're gonna edit it to make sure it's correct. Oops. I just did there. Um, oh, I put another incidence. I put incidence and incidence, and therefore they're all lining up on the same thing. Okay, let's try it again. We don't want incidence, we want, we want mortality right here. Okay, um, so 30, we got 35 there. What we need to do is make sure that they're both the same. So let's change this to 40 up here. I'm gonna change that to 40. Yeah, because it goes to 35, so we need to include it. And we start at 18 again. Now we're going from 18 to 40 and 100 to 100. And let's change that to, well, let's see the white. Yeah. Maybe we can make it 150 down here um, so that it's round numbers. So I'm just working now on both sheets. One was the copy and I'm making them exactly the same. So 40 to 18, 100 to 150. Uh, 40 to 18, 100 to 150. Okay, so now they're the same, right? And we had done the, our average line there. We're gonna do our average line here for the black mortality. Um, and again, average. Okay. So even just by simply looking at these two graphs right now, um, it's, um, you know, it's striking basically because it jumps up. And in fact, we could shorten the scale so to make it more evident, let's just make it if we look here, that's 33, 33. So we should really make it 35, that makes sense. So let's change the X, I, the Y to um, 35, the maximum. Uh, 
And then on this one too, and the axis uh, 35. Okay. So, let's just make sure we're looking at the same thing. Black mortality, 1115, white mortality, 1115, white incidence, 1014, black incidence, 1014. We wanna make sure we're comparing, we're not comparing apples and oranges here. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, create a dashboard um, so that we can show these two things side by side. I mean, obviously, sorry, this, the white and the black. Um, obviously, you could do this in Illustrator, but let's do that in dashboard. So it's here uh, under, right there, should be this one. Somehow it doesn't bring up a label, but yeah, it creates a dashboard. So again, it was it's this little symbol. It create, creates a little layout, essentially, and now you have all your, your available graphs and over here on the left, and we're gonna grab the black and the white uh, incident and mortality. I'm sorry, this one, the sheet seven and seven two, right? These are the two, seven and seven two. So let's put the first, let's put the white first here. And I believe now if we just grab the second one over here next to it, it should, yeah, should put it in the right spot. Now it looks a little funny. Um, so what we can try to do here at the top under entire view, we can change that to either standard. Okay, we can change it to either Standard, before it was entire view, which looks like that. Let's change that to standard. And, and this one too, so we have to do both. Um, standard, so that looks a little bit better. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, we, obviously we have duplicates um yeah one thing i don't like is it's true i don't like these labels here but that could be fixed in illustrator um we could we should simply display the uh the label for the y at the top here okay at the top of the at the top of the scale but it should be straight uh, let me see if i can I'm not gonna mess with it now but um so the last thing we can do is um do a um, a filter. So up here, the filters, you can say uses filter. And then, so you can select it either to be a filter or not. And then if you select it, right, it changes from solid to, uh, somehow after I zoom, it doesn't let me, Okay, to solid, when you click it, and then you can say the options. And when you do the options, there's lots of things, but if you use filter, you can, for example, filter by state. Okay, so let's see what happens. So that's, what's nice now is that you could decide to uh, not show some states. Right, if you decide to delete some states um, and just highlight, and you can see how the average changes because we're changing, you know, we're changing the information. Let's see, can I do them all? Yeah, um, so that's a nice way to filter it. If we filter it by, um, let's see if we just filter it by something else. Get rid of it. Um, if we filter by 
Uh, right, we could instead filter by the, let's say the white mortality, okay? And with that, now the filter is a slider up here so that you could say, okay, which, which are the highest states? So you could say, instead of from 18 to 24, you could say, well, let's try from 20 to 25, and this will give you just the three states that have the highest uh, mortality. Um, and it, it turns out California has, is one of them. Um, or I can change it again. Sorry, here. We could, um, now I believe you cannot do both filters. Let's, let's change the uses of filter in the black and let's just say the black mortality in the black one. Oh, actually I can, yeah, we can do both. So let's see, change that there. Yeah, so this would allow you to compare immediately the states that have the highest mortality for black and for white. So let's change that from somewhere there. 22, I'm, I'm using not the same, the same range, which turns out to be close to the average. Well, not really. You can play around. So right now I'm trying to visualize the states that are above average, but actually that would be weird. So in fact, let's do the same. Yeah, this is interesting. So to really show how bad the situation is from the two, uh, you know, the two races, um, we start from, you know, everything showing, and these are the ranges, but now we're going to filter the white and we're gonna say, um, you see the minimum for the black is already 20 deaths per 100,000 uh, female from breast cancer and that by the way is uh, age adjusted okay um, so now let's 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 filter the white here yeah so let's say that what is the average so the average is 20 almost 21 for white so i could filter well, again, the minimum for the black is equivalent to the average for white, which is kind of nuts, right? It's just, um, anyway, you can play around and you will get different things. Uh, last thing, let's see. Um, you can go back to the original sheets by here by going on the left on your choices and there is a little a little error there. So if we select that and we click, it brings us here. And now we can, um, let's see. Oh yeah, so this is the last thing we're gonna show. So if you wanted to highlight different types of information in the, uh, in the uh, zoom, you know, in the in the overing mouse, um, we could change that by right clicking, and let's see, edit. Um, sorry, it's here. So we have selected that. Now go here to tooltip under marks, and you can edit. So here you can decide to not show everything. So well, for example, we could just show the mortality and not the incidence, just the state name and the mortality. That's it. So now when you go over, it just shows that. Let's just, let's just, yeah. So if I, if I change that, um, it's actually creating different bubbles, the size of the, uh, I believe it's the population. So this is not information that we had. I believe that's what's showing. Yeah, because, um, well, maybe not because West Virginia is not that big. So maybe it's just doing an extra measure, an extra, you know, an extra visual thing for the, for the number of more of mortality, which we don't really want. So we'll, we'll leave it alone. Um, yeah. 
So you can play around uh, the label. I was trying to get all the names, all the all the states. Um, I guess here I can change the size of the font to be really tiny. Let's try six. Yeah, and then we can fit almost all the states. Uh, let's do the same here. And that now should have updated into the other one. For some reason, some are still not visible because they're bumping into each other, I think. So let's go to the dashboard and let's finish this guy. Uh, for some reason, we're getting different size. Yeah, let's fix that, different size. Let's try to do them the same. Hmm. Not sure if there's a way to do it exactly the same. I'm gonna use that little tick mark as a as a guide. Um, okay. So now this dashboard should look better. Yeah, a little more. Okay, and of course, once you export this, so I'm just gonna go to um, File, uh, Print, and I'm just gonna say right now, I have to, I have to pick a color. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna print, take a big one. I'm gonna say save as PDF, or even save as Adobe PDF, so we make sure that the, um, the type doesn't get scrambled. Uh, oversized pages, launch nothing, continue. I'm not gonna, okay, great. I know, I know where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna save that. I think it might take a little while because it's, you know, it's a layout in addition to being a, uh, you know, the charts themselves. Um, so is that the right one? 1030, yeah, that's the right one. So I'm going to open this now in Illustrator, okay? That's the file I, we just saved by printing and saving as Adobe PDF. And the first thing you want to do, okay, it's nice because it lets us select different graphs. Oh, 19 graphs, way too many. We just want the last one. Hopefully, it will fit on the same page. There we go. Last one. Perfect. So, yeah, just, just select, you know, the one that's the right one. Hmm, yeah, bad font message, but hopefully we're lucky. And I think we're pretty good. Uh, actually, let me zoom out. What you wanna do when you are in Illustrator is do an immediately a save all, I mean, a select all, and go to object, and go to clipping mask. So again, select all, object, clipping mask, and release. Okay, see how it actually, visualized all the lines that before were not uh, visible. It also means that you can select them. And another thing I like to do is under view, I do outline, which is command Y, because it makes it black and white and it allows me to see the stuff that I really don't want usually. So, very likely that I don't want this garbage right here. Um, sometimes what I do is I zoom in all the way out and I do select all to make sure that there's no, no stuff floating around. And then I can switch back to command Y. Um, now, what I don't like about Tableau is the gray labels. I really hate them. 
So let me see if I can do a quick select. Same, maybe blending mode. Nope. Um, let's see, same, select, same. Oh gosh, appearance. Did it do it? Yeah. I'm gonna make every letter, every word black because it's just ridiculous that one gray type is just not bad, not good. Um, sorry, that was not good. Um, unfortunately, I selected everything else. So I need to try to deselect some things that are boxes. Okay, well, you might have to do a little bit more um, piecemeal like this. So I'm going to, yeah, we don't need that. Actually, we're gonna leave it. Anyway, you should use, you shouldn't use gray labels, you should use black labels. Um, 100% black. Much better, okay. Um, well, what else could we do here? I mean, you could do a lot. The first thing I'm gonna do is flip this. I don't like that there. And of course, write it in English, right? Eventually we can we can write something more, more English-like, so black. Bring it to front, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, now this graph, let's see if I select that line, same fill and stroke. Hmm. I think it just selected those grid lines. What we could do is we could make them white. So kind of reverse that. Yeah. And we can make these boxes underneath a slight gray, which would give us um, a little bit of a, oops, but I have to send it back. Uh, send it back. I have yet another box. Looks like I have many boxes on top of one another, which is crazy. There we go. <laughs> You see what happened? I had so many boxes on top of one another. Um, and so those lines look a little thin. So I'm going to select same appearance again, and I'm gonna make them a little thicker. So it's a stroke. In fact, it's, there we go. So there's a fairly decent graph. We, we, do that. we would have to, you know, change things, but, and maybe bring back some of the names, but, Okay, so that's, that's it for today. Well, actually we should, we should make them the same How about that. I think those are already, uh, they're already white. Select, same appearance. Oh, I'm not gonna touch it now. All right. Um, we'll do another, another video on Illustrator at another time. Um, Okay, one last thing here. We could just simply highlight, um, now I'm picking really ugly colors, but and of course this would be, the, you know, actually that wasn't it, it should have been this one. So that you can make, you can write a story about, you know, the, the top, the, you know, the extremes, right? And then you can just save it. That's it. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you for the next video. Bye-bye.